need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. When you save a workbook for the first time, you must use the Save As dialog box. To do this, click the File tab within the ribbon. Then click the Save As command in the command panel shown at the left side of the backstage view. In the Save As dialog box that then appears, give Excel a location to which the workbook will be saved, and then enter a file name. Give it a name that you will be able to remember, and also be sure to note into which folder you saved it. The latter step is often more crucial. People will often remember what they called a file, but they can't remember into which folder they chose to save it. Now once you've named the file and saved it by clicking the Save button within the Save As dialog box, its name will appear within the title bar of the Excel application. Now after that, when you make changes in the future that you want to save, you can just click the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar, or click the File tab in the ribbon, and then click the Save command. You will not have to re-enter the file name or select a location. Excel will save the changes automatically to the existing file. Note that file names may be up to 255 characters in length, but should probably be short and descriptive. Excel will not let you use the following symbols in a file name. The colon, the forward slash, the backslash, the greater than sign, the less than sign, the asterisk, double quotes, or the pipe symbol. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash enterprise dash licensing